hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to make an inverter using a tl494 pwm controller module and uh, first we see the working of this inverter and uh, for this i powering the inverter using my 12 volt supply so i connecting the positive and uh, negative terminals and turning on before turning on uh, i am connecting a 100 watt bulb as a load test So here I have connected the bulb and uh, you can see the brightness of this uh, bulb is very high and uh, if I also connect a uh, LED bulb at the output then the brightness of this LED is also very high as compared to this uh, uh, 100 watt bulb so this is the working and uh, also I will show you the uh, details of the circuit diagram so as you can see it's a circuit diagram this is uh, as you see this is the TL494 IC and uh, pinouts are uh, like this so here you can see the pin number 1 which is the voltage reference pin and uh, I've made a 10 kilo ohm 5 volt reference and uh, ground 10 kilo ohm so the middle point of this uh, will go uh, will be 2.5 volt uh, reference and uh, the middle point of this connected through the 1 key resistor so that the voltage will compensate as uh, compared to this uh, octocoupler feedback and the uh, pin 1 is uh, inverter pin and uh, this is the non inverting so the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer will uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor will connect uh, from pin number 2 and uh, voltage feedback pin which is pin number 3 and uh, for the duty cycle controlling here the PC817 autocoupler given so that we can uh, control the output voltage and the feedback loop uh, look like this uh, the positive voltage feedback uh, goes from 100 kilo ohm resistor and uh, this is the anti tensiometer which is uh, also here this is the potentiometer which controls the output voltage like this and uh, if I remove the module like this and uh, also the 100 ohm resistor connected at the dead time control pin which is pin number 4 so that we control the timing of the switching of this both modifiers and uh, when the MOSFET is turned on and off because uh, this is in the configuration of push pull in the first time the MOSFET is on and the second time the first MOSFET is off and the second one is on and uh, here uh, also 100, uh, 10 nanofarad capacitor connected from CT pin which is pin number 5 and ground and uh, pin number 6 is connected through 15 kilo ohm resistor and uh, ground which makes the oscillation of this IC and uh, according to the calculation and uh, uh, connecting through my oscilloscope testing in this configuration of uh, 10 and farad capacitor and 15 kilo ohm it gives uh, almost 36 kilohertz of frequency at the output and the pin number 7 is the ground and uh, pin number 8 and the 11 is the collector pin of this IC which is uh, here two transistor and the uh, emitter is uh, it takes as uh, output to drive these uh, two modifiers and uh, for the current limiting here uh, I have used uh, 100 ohm resistors and uh, two pull up uh, pull down resistors so in case of any kind of uh, sorting or uh, problem so that the MOSFETs will shut down and it will not damage from any kind of uh, fluctuation and uh, also the transformer which is a uh, central tab will connect to the 12 volt input and the side by side coils are connected through the MOSFETs drain pins and uh, for protecting from high voltage spike uh, for the MOSFET here I have used a UF4700 socket diode which is connected through the ground and uh, drain pins 
so the voltage uh, when MOSFET turns on and off the voltage will feed back through this uh, and this will damage the MOSFET so for this I use a diode so the negative voltage will go through this uh, ground and it will not affect the MOSFETs so this is the basic uh, working this inverter so if you have any doubt related to uh, this circuit you can uh, ask your comments so the circuit diagram also given in the description and uh, hit the like button and uh, share with your friends till then thanks for watching